Welcome to this week's changelog. I'm Joe, this is Jacob, and we're gonna bring you guys the changes for last week from Solana. So, to start, we have another proposal as usual. This one's kind of like in draft phase. Um, what'd you see on that one, Jacob? Yes, there is a draft proposal for a unified scheduler uh, on Solana. So, like today, transactions are kind of scheduled. There's some issues. Like for example, right now, most of the leaders are more incentivized to pack transactions into a block to not create any idling time for block time versus like not create empty space in a block, which we want to fill those blocks, to be honest, not be careful about latency and opportunity costs. So there are some changes are being proposed for having some type of unified scheduler that will make it easier for uh, transactions to actually be scheduled and blocks to be packed bigger. So definitely check out that proposal if you're interested to learn more. And then uh, cool. what commits have you seen this past week? Um, yeah, so I saw it's a little bit more work on migrating from BPF to SPF. So Berkeley Packet Filter, BPF, that's what we started out using on Solana. Like that's what everyone's kind of familiar with. And there's actually a new implementation that has been around for a little while, the Solana binary format. And like engineers really want you guys to be using SBF. So like more and more changes are happening to a lot of the source. And you'll notice if you try to use BPF, you'll get a little like deprecated warning. So if, whenever you upgrade your CLI or things like that, like try to get up to SBF and use that, just switch it in your, in your build command. And then what's I the, also saw, oh, sorry, what's go What's the ahead. specific uh, build command that you usually run? Like, what does it look like and what should, what exactly does it change to? Yeah, so you typically will run cargo build BPF and um, all you have to do is change it to cargo build SBF. And then like there's additional flags that people use sometimes like manifest path, output directory. I think those are all relatively the same, but you can always just slap help and, and like you'll be able to see what the differences there are. All right, cool. Yeah, and then the only other commit that I really saw was, you know, a little bit more support on the connection object for Solana Web 3 JS. Um, there's a git parsed block method now, so it'll give you a JSON parsed object back for a block. So pretty cool. How about cool. you? What commits did you see? I saw some things on the Explorer changes. Uh, so there's more support for displaying closed program accounts now. So previously, if a uh -huh. program was closed, it just looked like an account via the Explorer, not giving you the information that it was actually a closed program. Um, so that is a change. Uh, they're also adding support for like the close instruction as well as the extend program instruction, which is very exciting in the future on the Explorer so that you can see those transactions. And for on that note, like whenever you make a program or deploy a program onto Solana, the you usually use the upgradable BPF loader right now. Uh, the old one, which is deprecated, is actually being removed. It's currently being, I believe it's currently removed from testnet. So definitely be on the watch for that. If you're using the old one for some reason, the deprecated one, definitely upgrade to the upgradable uh, loader today. And uh, what resources have you seen this past week, Joe? Um, yeah, so recently, I think maybe last week or so, maybe two weeks ago, Third Web added support for Solana and they released their information about that. So Third Web is kind of like um, like a composability SDK provider. So they build a lot of like really cool SDKs to sort of like simplify a lot of your like development practices. So one example is they have like it's like a three liner to get like an NFT collection bag and you just kind of provide like a public key or whatever, you know, and it's real simple. So they have a lot of cool solutions like that. And they just introduced obviously Solana support. So there's going to be some interesting stuff you could do on Solana with Third Web. So take a look at that. And um, we hope to see more from them in the future. Cool. Yeah, looking forward to seeing other tools that make life easier to build on Solana. Um, on that note, thank you for listening to today's changelog where we go over the week-by-week -week changes on Solana. We'll see you next week.